Welcome to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. If you're on a mission to be more frugal with both your time and money, you're in the right place. In this podcast, we talk about topics that help enhance living a frugal lifestyle. The goal is to save time and money where we can so that we can use the rest on what matters most to us. We talk a lot about both time and money management so that we can waste as little as possible on both. We do this while also embracing a progress over perfection mindset. If that sounds good to you, then please stick around for the latest episode right after a few quick words from our sponsor. Hi everyone, welcome back to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. This is my weekly meal plan episode where I share with you what's on my family's meal plan for the upcoming week. I do a blog post of the full um, meal plan on my website with links to any recipes that I mention in this episode. Um, you can find that on my website at lolasfrugallife.com and that comes out every week the same day that this episode comes out every Wednesday. So this week's meal plan starts on Saturday, July 20th. For Saturday, I'm going to be making Chef John's Crab Cakes, which is from allrecipes.com. These are um, pretty easy to make. They come out really good. Um, But the only thing is you do have to make sure you prepare the crab cakes about at least an hour before um, you're going to cook um, because they have to sit in the fridge um, to chill before you cook them in the frying pan. So if any of you are like me and you forget to read through a recipe before you're about to make dinner, I just want to put that out there because if you don't do that ahead of time, you'll be stuck waiting another hour before being able to make dinner. Um, and, and then as a side, I'm going to do chili rice casserole, which is from allrecipes.com. I made this once a while back, and I think it was pretty good. I honestly don't remember. I, I think we all kind of liked it, but it's just a simple side dish that's made with um, instant rice, cream of celery soup, Um, green chili peppers, sour cream, and cheddar cheese, and then you, I think you bake it, yeah, you bake it in the oven, Um, so I thought that would go good with the crab cakes. For Sunday, I'm doing really, really easy meal. Um, We actually have some frozen orange chicken that I noticed was still sitting in my freezer from a little while back from a Trader Joe's trip, and um, I was like, oh, that's perfect for a quick, easy weeknight meal, so I'm just going to cook that up, so no recipe to share for this week. I think you just basically cook it in the oven and then toss it with this orange chicken sauce or something like that. I forget exactly how you make it, but I think that's basically how you make it. And then I'm just going to make some white rice and some frozen vegetables to go on the side with that. For Monday, I'm going to be making Chef John's spaghetti carbonara. I haven't made um, this in a really long time. I don't even remember if I've actually made this specific recipe, but I really like Chef John's recipes. He has a lot of recipes on allrecipes.com and I've pretty much found that mostly all the recipes I've made of his I've really liked. So I'm going to be making this. Um, This is basically just uh, pasta with um, bacon or uh, other Italian meats you can use. I'll probably just use bacon. And it has egg in it and cheese. And um, it's really good. And it's a pretty simple meal to make. So that should be good for Monday. Um, For Tuesday, that's our Mexican theme meal. This week we're doing um, sheet pan chicken fajitas. That's from foodnetwork.com. It's just your basic chicken fajita recipe with um, cut up chicken breast, peppers, onions, um, some seasoning, olive oil, and then I just put out some flour tortillas and some um, avocado and some salsa I think I usually put out. I forget what I usually put out on the side. Sour cream if I didn't say that. And then everyone can just make a fajita. Super easy meal. Um, Wednesday is our seafood night. So this week we're doing baked salmon. I do that probably every two to three weeks. Um, I just buy the um, frozen baked salmon, bake it in the oven at 450 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes um, after seasoning it with olive oil and um, McCormick smokehouse maple seasoning. And then I'll just make some egg noodles on the side and some frozen vegetables, whatever I happen to have on hand. Um, Thursday, I've been doing either like a crock pot meal or soup or breakfast for dinner. So this week we're going to do crock pot. I'm going to do pulled chicken. Um, I don't have a recipe link to share for this because for pulled chicken, I just buy one of those like pulled chicken slow cooker sauces that they have in the grocery store. And then I'll use chicken thighs, um, to make, you know, for the meat and then just buy some rolls to, um, have on the side or not to have on the side to make sandwiches with. Um, so that'll be really easy. And then for a side, I'm going to do um, Mexican style corn on the cob in the air fryer. Although last time I was lazy and I didn't actually season, um, do like the seasonings that it calls for, which is like 
it says lime zest and lemon juice and um, cilantro and all of this. I basically just followed the recipe just to cook the corn and then I just kind of seasoned it with some butter and salt. Um, but the corn does come out really good in the air fryer. So if you haven't made corn on the cob in the air fryer before, I would suggest trying it. It's really easy and it comes out really good. Um, and then for Friday is our hot dog night. We do that once a month on a Friday. Um, so I love that night because it's so easy. Um, so basically I'll just be cooking up some hot dogs, um, heating up a can of chili, and making some um, potatoes, peppers, and onions in the air fryer. I just dice up some potatoes, peppers, and onions, toss them with some olive oil, some um, salt, and maybe some onion powder, garlic powder, and then just cook them up in the air fryer until they're nice and crispy. And, um, and that's it. That's it for this week's meal plan. So like I said, you can find this on my website at lolasfrugallife.com. I have a uh, meal plan on there for every single week that goes along with the podcast. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you back here next week. So thank you for checking in for this podcast episode. And don't forget, you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Lola's Frugal Life. And you can find a blog post for most of my episodes and definitely all of my meal plan episodes at lolasfrugallife.com. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I could see your listening. Also, if you can please take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, those ratings and reviews are what help the show come up better in search results so that other people can find this podcast, so that will really help me in growing my audience. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have an awesome day.